Hi friends, in other video I was talking about Arakil thin driver details. I said type 4 mechanism based, type 4 mechanism based JDBC driver for Arakil given by Arakil corporation is technically called as what? Arakil thin driver. In order to work with any JDBC driver, we need to note three details. So, according to that, let me give Arakil thin driver details or Arakil thin driver details are first driver class name. What is the driver class name? Arakil dot JDBC dot driver dot Arakil driver. If uh, in some latest versions they have even given what? What is this? Arakil dot JDBC dot Arakil driver. URL JDBC colon Arakil colon thin at the rate. At the rate is part of the syntax and we cannot question the syntax. At the rate means on which mission? At what mission? At host. At host. Generally, if Arakil is there in our current computer, we write it as what? Local host. Then port number. Arakil generally runs on which port number? Twin 21 port number. Then, then SID. SID is nothing but service ID. So, according to our current setup, according to our current setup, SID is XE. SID is what? XE. So, here you can see select star from global underscore name, select star from global underscore name, what is this? XE is there. And according to our setup, according to our setup, port number is 1521, port number is what? 1521, 1521. And According to our cut, uh, current setup, because uh, Java uh, uh, database software is there in the current mission itself. So, for that reason, the host is what? Local host. What is this? Local host. Host is what? Local host. JDBC colon Oracle is what? Protocol. JDBC is the main protocol. Oracle is what? Sub protocol. Thin is the sub name. Based on this only driver manager service will pick up what registered type 4 driver even though type, o, type 2 driver is there. Even though type 2 driver of Oracle is registered. Based on this sub name only it will become ready to pick up registered type 4 driver. I mean it's Oracle thin driver. So, jar file, jar file. If you look at the jar file, right now I have Oracle 11G. According to our setup, what is this? OJDBC 6 dot jar and it supports auto loading of driver class. What, what year? Auto loading of driver class. That means there is no necessity of adding class dot for name. When we call driver manager dot get connection from the jar file, it will search for meta nf slash services slash java dot sql dot driver file in that file it looks for a driver class loads that class automatically and register the driver with what driver manager service registers the driver with the driver manager service so in part one video i have given all these details so before seeing this video please make sure that you have given you have watched that particular video because there I talked all these things quite elaborately. Let me dedicate this video, let me talk in this video how to develop one example application, one example application doing that. But here I would like to follow coding standards here, coding standards from scratch. There are some coding standards that is why I avoid 
star symbol in the package import statement that means avoid implicit package import prefer explicit package import to avoid null pointer exception check for not null before calling any method or variable on what reference variable so catch and handle exception don't declare the exception followed by try block place multiple catch blocks always prefer closing jdbc objects in final lib block declare local variable at the top of method declaration this kind of coding standards i want to follow so let's uh, start the development now example application now i would like to give example application using eclipse example application using eclipse id example application using eclipse id mm. create a project in eclipse id and add and add ojdbc 6.jar file to the build path to the build path add ojdbc 6.jar file to the build path file new project i am creating what is the project java project what is the project java project project name is i am taking some name don't worry jdbc pros1 say next jdbc pros1 say finish so i created one project here nice so let me add ojdbc 6.jar to the build path of the project so build path configure build path libraries add libraries go to oracle installation oracle exe so there you search for jar what is this ojdbc 6.jar ojdbc ojdbc 6.jar so i think uh, here we are having 10g okay that's why i'm arranging what ojdbc 14.jar so in this system maybe they have arranged what oracle 10g at 10.2 hours means 10g so that means so we are having uh, oracle 10g so here we are having what oracle 10g so then we have to go for ojdbc 14.jar so it does not support auto loading of driver class auto loading of driver class that means we must write class dot for name statement does not support auto loading of driver class auto loading of driver class so i added it apply okay so let's come to yeah every class should be taken in a package that's why i am also taking in a package yeah, if you have a oracle 11g try to add ojdbc 6.jar so that you can avoid loading of driver class name through class dot for name okay so i have this one src folder in this src folder i am just taking one small thing called select test dot java yeah i think uh, we have gone wrong so let me create a package first then i will go for what class because taking class without package is a not a good standard so anyhow we got an opportunity to see that so first let me create a package new package so generally we take three words in the package com dot nt dot jdbc com is commercial or company name nt is what Nares technology jdbc is my topic name or generally project name also will be taken so if org means open source kind of thing so some meaningful package name explaining the purpose or project name or module of the project so i am taking a class here what is the class there the class i am taking over here is select test dot java so the class i am taking over here is what select test dot java the class what i am planning to take here is what here i have taken a class called select test dot java in com dot nt dot jdbc 
So, let us start our requirement. What is our requirement? I have a student table. I want to retrieve and display all the records that are there in what? Student table. All the records that are there in student table. So, let me get the main method here. So, there is a shortcut key if you type main you will get the main method there. So, first there are no inputs to read. So, let me directly focus on what registering driver, but that method throws checked exception called class not found exception. So, let me take what is this try block, yes what is this class dot for name, class dot for name, yes. Here we are having what Arakil dot JDBC dot driver dot Arakil driver. We have to think about here I am loading driver class, load driver class to register driver. Next establish the connection. What is this? Establish the connection. So, it is always recommended to declare local variables at the top of the class. Connection con is equal to null. Connection con is, and if you want to import the package, control plus shift plus o. Con is equal to, what is this, driver manager dot get connection. I am trying to take three param method, yes what is the url what is the url jdbc colon arakil colon thin colon at the rate right now arakil is there in the same mission how to refer a mission being from same computer localhost at the rate localhost what is the port number of arakil 1521 what is the sid xe what is the username what is the username system in this computer system? What is the password? What is the password manager? Yes, these are database username and passwords. Okay, so we got it. Next, create a statement. Create a statement object. So here I am trying to take statement object here. What is this? Statement st is equal to null. Control plus shift plus o java dot sql dot statement. To avoid null pointer exception before calling methods on reference variable, it is recommended to check for not null. Okay, if con not equal to null, st is equal to con dot, what is this? Create statement next one. Now, I have to send and execute SQL query in database software. Let us start that. Send and execute SQL query in database software. Nice. If st not equal to null, this is purely to avoid null pointer exception, then what is this? I want to work with result set. First, let me create result set rs is equal to null. Control plus shift plus o. Then tell me rs is equal to st dot execute query. Select star from what is this student? Select star from student. So, we got a result set object. How does that result set object basically looks? The result set object contains multiple records and three columns. Let me give memory diagram of that word result set object. The memory diagram of result set object goes something like this. So, we basically get result set. Let us assume that uh, result set is having two records and you know that every result set by default contains two positions. One is BFR, other one is what? ALR. BFR means before first record, ALR means 
after last record. RS means what is this result set? Yes, you are having how many records here? Two records. 101 Raja Hyderabad. 102, what is next? Ravi, what is that? Vizak. Next. Yeah. So, records in result set contains one based index. What index here? Records in result set contains what? One based index. This is index 1. This is index 2. Nice. Next. These column values in each record of result set also contains what? One based index. This is 2. This is 3. Nice. Block this. Copy this. Here also same index will be maintained. This is basically memory diagram of what result set. So, now I would like to process this result set and everyone knows how to process the result set. Process the result set. Process the result set object and if rs dot next, if, if a while, yes we have more than one record. So, better to take, take what while loop. If you want to process result set that is having oh, 0 or more records, then this. So, first of all, let me follow my coding standard. If, if R is not equal to null, yes, there I am taking while R is dot next. Yeah, it is the same old things which we discussed in other, other videos. The processing of result set is same old thing boss. Mm. Total how many column values are there? Sys out control plus space gives system dot out dot println. Yeah, there I am trying to get first column value. Yes, space. I am trying to get second column value. Nice. Even I am trying to get what? Third column value. What is this? RS dot get string of 3. Total how many column values? 3 column values. Here is my if condition. So, processing of result set is over. Yes, end of what block here? Try. There, what we are taking? Catch blocks. Yeah, do not write one catch block followed by try block. Always place multiple catch blocks so that we can handle known and unknown exception. So, catch block sometimes in real time based on the exception that is raised, the code we place in catch block changes. So, that is why we have to place what multiple catch blocks. First to handle known exceptions, what is this? SQL exception SC, SC dot print stack trace. Next, similarly, try to handle unknown Another exception, known exception, what is this? Class not found, because who throws this exception? Who throws this exception? Class dot for name method throws this exception. CNF dot print stack trace. CNF dot print stack trace. Then you write catch block to handle what? Unknown exception because without our knowledge other exceptions may rise. So, to handle those unknown exceptions, uh, what is this? Exception E, E dot print stack trace. End of what block here? Finally block. End of what block? Finally block. Mm. We need to, this is end of main method, this is end of this class. But uh, it is better to close JDBC objects in which block? Finally block. Oh, okay. It is better to close JDBC objects in which block? Finally block. So, here I want to write a logic close JDBC objects. Close JDBC. Why? Even though exception is raised or not in the try block, finally block executes. I want to close all JDBC objects irrespective of code in try block is executed smoothly or not. 
and it is always recommended to close JDBC objects that too in the reverse order of their opening. Why? Using statement object result set is created. Using connection object statement object is created so that it is better to close JDBC objects in the reverse order of closing. Generally, if you close connection object that is sufficient, but it is suggested to close all the objects in the proper order because all JDBC objects are internally what? networking, programming based sockets and somewhat streams, IO streams kind of thing. And at the end of utilization, it is always suggested to close them. So, let me close first result set object. But close method also throws checked exception. It is recommended to catch and handle that what checked exception also. So, that is why try if um, R is not equal to null. Uh, what is this R S dot close R S not equal to null R S dot close end of try block then catch then catch what is the exception SQL exception SC dot print stack trace similarly take of this try block copy this save paste and then tell me st not equal to null st dot close statement object is also closed next lastly i let me close connection object con not equal to null what is this con dot close yes close it end of what block finally block end of which block here finally block let's observe let's observe in the finally block, I am taking three separate try catch block to close three objects. What is need? Suppose while closing results at object, exception is raised. Control goes to this catch block, that exception will be suppressed. That means, even though while closing one result JDBC object, if exception is raised, we are giving fair chance, we are giving what? Fair chance to close what? Other JDBC objects. If I write all these close, three close method, RS dot close, ST dot close, con dot close method in a single try statement or single try catch statement. If one object, while closing one object, suppose for a while calling RS dot close method, we got an exception. It does not give any chance to close remaining two JDBC objects objects. That is why it is always suggested and encouraged to close JDBC objects um, in multiple try catch blocks so that even though one or other object is not closed, we will get, uh, we will we'll give priority to, we will give what priority to, we will give chance to close other JDBC objects. For example, exception is raised, control goes to catch block and this one is having what fair chance to get closed. Here exception is raised, control goes to this catch block, but the happily connection object is having fair chance to, uh, to get closed, yes or no. So, that is why it is always suggested to write like this. So, fine, let me make sure that jar is added or not, yes jar is added and let me check a table is there in the database or not. Yes, what is the table we have taken? Select star from student. Yes, we have one record also in the table. So, let us run the application. Let us run the application. So, let us start execute the application. We are running this application. Yes, let us run the application. It is talking to database software and displaying what records of the table. Because in the table we have one record and it is happily displaying what that particular record. So, what is the menu button we have to use? This is the menu button we have to use to run the application. So, the main intention of this video is introducing Oracle Thin Driver and how to use Oracle Thin Driver okay, towards what? Mm, developing application for database connectivity. So, I hope you benefited with this video. I hope you benefited this video. Mm -hmm.